All right, thank you. So we are the Smart Tool Crib team. Uh, we're in the area of manufacturing. So a manufacturing floor, you can typically waste quite a lot of time just trying to track down your assets, whether it's the tools that you're looking for, um, who has them. Uh, perhaps you have a centralized tool crib, and it's all the way across the plant. By the time you walk over there, it's closed, it's lunch, it's something, or you just don't have the, the product that you need. So um, we wanted to attack that with um, these IoT devices. So Chris over there has uh, our app. Our app is actually shown right here. So he wants to check out, uh, let's say, a spectrum analyzer. He can just see all different things, and ah, spectrum analyzer is checked out by George Costanza. <laughs> so fun, Fandelay Industries strikes again. So uh, let's go to uh, maybe just the scope. Um, he can click on the scope. Hey, it is available. So uh, those those lockers right there are very much locked. You can just hammer on them. They're absolutely locked. Um, red lights kind of also show that, but. Um, it has an iBeacon on there, so it recognizes Chris has approached, and now he has the ability to unlock. Uh, lights up, that's the correct uh, crib, and lo and behold, there's his scope, just like he expected. Make sure you shut that locker, or it's going to beep at you, um, so we've kind of got that built in. So, um, you know, obviously that's a, that's a big help for people now. Um, Chris has uh, that connected, he's got that checked out, it's in his checked out uh, portion of the app. So now it's the end of the day and he needs to check it back in. He can just click on it, walk back over to the tool crib. Again, the iBeacon recognizes that he's nearby. He can again unlock. Uh, this time it's locker two, pops open, and he can return it. Again, you're gonna get a nice annoying beep until you do in fact lock that asset back uh, safely. So um, to make this all happen, uh, we made use of the AT&T uh, IoT starter kit. Uh, that's actually hooked up to M2X. You can actually see real-time tracking of how often the different assets are being used. Location right there where we all are today, um, showing you know, where these are all located. Uh, this is all operating off battery power um, and, and obviously the, the wireless connectivity. And uh, so you can take these just about anywhere. Uh, we really thought it would be you know, a nice idea for the, I the upcoming IoT lab. Um, this kind of facilitates some use of obviously expensive equipment that you want to keep track of. Uh, but then also show you know who's using that equipment the most. So kind of develop this you know dashboard of gurus for let's say a spectrum analyzer that people may feel pretty intimidated by. So um, by making use of kind of this whole solution, suddenly you've built out this um, sort of social platform as well to get people to know each other and uh, give people help where they need the help. Um, I guess just to summarize, we made use of Raspberry Pi, obviously the starter kit there from AT&T. Um, we're running Node.js on the Raspberry Pi, running uh, React Native on the app, and we're going to be posting all of this to uh, GitLab. Thanks. Woo!